animals stay with no Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And this time I'll be playing Blade Runner Blind. Now, I did watch the movie Blade Runner, but it was so long ago that I don't really remember anything of value other than Roy's final speech about how he, he has seen things you people wouldn't have believed and, uh, you know, all those moments will be lost in time, like tears in the rain. Uh, so, uh, perhaps that's for the best, because from what I understand, this game is somewhat of a cross between an adaptation of the movie and the expansion upon the events of the movie. So maybe if I don't remember anything, uh, it's going to be more fun. I haven't read the book that the movie was based on, uh, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? I have only read like excerpts mm, and I've seen some comparisons between the book and the movie, but I have not, re uh, not read the book itself. So you could say I'm pretty new to this whole universe uh, overall, which as I said again, it might actually be for the best. Um, I am going to start a new game because the game actually sort of starts on its own uh, when you boot it up, uh, but I wanted to start with the actu actual introduction, so let's go here. I will be playing on hard. It might not be the best choice, I'm not particularly great at games, and especially adventure games are not something I have that much experience with, but I do like the additional challenge, so let's go with hard. Early in the 21st century, the Tyrell Corporation advanced to robot evolution into the Nexus phase, a being virtually identical to a human, known as a replicant. The Nexus 6 replicants were superior in strength and agility, and at least equal in intelligence, to the genetic engineers who created them. Replicants were used off-world as slave labor, in the hazardous exploration and colonization of other planets. After a bloody mutiny by a Nexus 6 combat team in an off-world colony, replicants were declared illegal on Earth under penalty of death. Special police squad, Blade Runner units, had orders to shoot to kill upon detection any trespassing replicant. This was not called an execution, it was called retirement. Los Angeles, November Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Renser, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. 
These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That is the price for humanity. Oh, please, don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no. That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. BR-61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. Last time I had a three was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of tomaine poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guza was one of the old-time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him, but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid, because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in, and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for rep detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slumming tonight, Slim? I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse. They never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What Scusa got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runciter's. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. <laughs> Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's one of the details from... Maybe it's from the movie as well, I don't remember. From the world of, of, of this story, is that uh, owning an animal is, is uh, seen as a sort of status symbol it's like uh, you know prestigious especially if it's if it's an alive animal which as they said as they demonstrated they are extremely extremely rare and expensive because most of them are extinct and most regular people if they want companionship or pets they go for electronic animals that's where the mm, 
It, that's where the title of the book comes from, you know, Do Androids Dream of Electric Ship? Because the live humans, uh, they would like to own a, a live animal, so it's like, a, like, like an analogy. Um, okay, so uh, before I move on, there is this, conversation choices. Now apparently I can choose like a default mm, response my character is going to make in conversation but there is also user choice which I suppose is going to ask me each time I engage in conversation what kind of tone I want to assume so this is clearly best I am going to stay with that and let's have a look around uh, this is my car find something piece of chrome from a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. <laughs> okay, I, I assume that's sarcasm, right? When he said horse chrome. Um, okay, that's probably evidence. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Mm, okay, so someone hit the fire hydrant. That's, that's also uh, important. As far as clues go. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was gonna root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Okay, so double click is running. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Hmm. Hmm. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Hmm, so, so they didn't kill him, they just killed the animals. They wanted to destroy his business rather than kill him. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. Mm, okay, so he repeats hmm. himself. I take it from that he has no new info. Um, uh, Runcitter's animals, or rather Runcitter's live animals, which I guess is an important distinction because, as I said, uh, living animals are much more prestigious than those electronic knockoffs. Uh, okay, I don't think there's anything else mm, on this screen, so let's walk inside. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Hmm. Okay, apparently there's something here, which to be honest, I would have never, it looks just like a black smear. I would have never noticed that if the cursor didn't change. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. All my animals. Okay, so those are the shells from the guns that they used. That, that's a very important piece of evidence, so I'm glad I sort of off-handedly hovered upon it. Uh, I'll talk with him, of course. Uh, McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. 
She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. Okay, a couple of things. First of all, she's 14? All my animals. What? That's... There's like several layers of fucked upness in that statement. Because first of all, she dresses very revealing for a 14 year old. Uh, she, she had like, you know, pink stockings and like barely anything more than a bra uh, on her top. But second, sh he just literally referred to a 14 year old girl as very attractive. Like, I'm what's ruined. wrong with the guy? Totally uh, ruined. And third, it tells you something important about the state of the world because it makes it clear that uh, child labor laws have been repealed. Uh, it would have been illegal nowadays to uh, employ a 14 year old kid. Uh, whereas apparently here it's, it's entirely normal. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Here you are. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? Yeah, it seems to me they wanted to, like, teach him a lesson. Because they specifically didn't kill him, they didn't even seriously injure him. They just thrashed his business and I'm killed his ruined. animals that are totally th that ruined. are supposedly worth, you know, millions of the currency. You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering, officer. Last May, I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Bergeron cult. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Mm, okay, let's investigate. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. The... You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of chinyens worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point at that. I believe... This is the disc from last night. Peachy. My precious one. I, I always like she those old baby. predictions of the future because th th they are always amusingly wrong uh, in sort of uh, in two divergent directions. Because on one hand, it's 2019 and we have like flying cars and stuff and you know, uh, f fully autonomic uh, Androids that are indistinguishable from a person, uh, but on the other hand, I'm they still ruined. use they, they still totally use uh, they still use CDs uh, in this universe because the people back then who created this world they couldn't have freed themselves from the um, sort of perception of their time. Like they couldn't, you know, they, they might have thought, oh, surely in the future. Uh, compact discs are going to be like, you know, th there's going to be more space on them and they are going to be uh, reproduced quicker and read quicker and the data is going to transfer quicker, but they couldn't, uh, like, imagine that they are going to be obsolete in, like, a couple years. T to be honest, at this point, uh, 
I am routinely getting mocked by my friends for still using CDs because I like uh, physical copies of games. I have a lot of them on discs. And I specifically bought an external uh, CD-ROM uh, for my laptop because they are not even routinely mounted anymore. Nobody uses that technology. Hmm. Okay, this this uh, this space is surprisingly scarce in evidence. I'm ruined. Mm, let's check Lucy's corner. Because that, that's supposedly her desk. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Hmm, so so that's like a wrapper from a, from a takeout place or something in Chinatown? A candy bar. Yuck. <laughs> What's so disgusting about candy specifically? Uh, I would understand if he said it's like expired or whatever. But if it's just candy, what's so bad about that? Hmm, a toy dog. Well, isn't that cute? Oh, right mouse button uh, takes up my gun. That's useful knowledge. Well, isn't that cute? Okay, I think I'm done with uh, casing the crime scene. All my animals. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Yeah, I agree. Find anything else out here? This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Find anything else out here? This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding away from the scene. Mm, black sedan. So, so that uh, corroborates the, 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 the paint on the, hi on the hydrant? They, they hit it. They hit a black car. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm done. So, let's get into my car and see where else I can go. Um, McCoy's apartment. Police station. Uh, Chinatown and run sitters so i'm here i'm going to get back to the police station because maybe they can do some analyzing uh, on well first of all i i want to view the video feed from the camera and maybe maybe they can do some analyzing like on the bullets or on the uh, piece of chrome that f fell off from the car Nothing to look at here, seemingly. Roof. Laboratory. Okay, so let's go down. Sort Laboratory. Of gradually. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. The shell casings from Runciter should be in the Museum of Military History. How's that? They're from an Ender rifle. It's standard issue off-world military hardware. Heavy caliber. 
That puppy can punch right through a tank. What can I conclude from that? Whoever used this piece didn't just walk into their local sporting goods store and buy it. Those babies are collectibles, and they ain't cheap. Mm, okay, that's a very useful piece of information. Uh, also, if it's an anti-tank rifle, uh, then it's a bit of an overkill to use it on a bunch of animals. But that might be another level of, like, scare tactic, you know? Anything else? We got the animal corpses from Runciters, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runciter was ripping his customers off. State-of-the-art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Hmm, so Ranciter, uh, some of his animals weren't even alive, they are replicants. That's interesting. Especially because he's so much prized himself on on selling live animals. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinner drivers clutching up to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> You're a real funny guy, McCoy. <laughs> okay, so that's another very important piece of information because apparently what they used is a regular car that, you know, drives on the road rather than the flying variant. Which I imagine, you know, most people would still use the ground cars uh, if only because they were cheaper, they are an older technology and the roads are still there. We built them in, in decades past, uh, so, you know, why not use them? Uh, all the while, the, the rich bastards are flying overhead and uh, throwing take-out take out boxes onto your head from their flying cars. Anything else? A piece of chrome you found outside of Runciter's is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Anything else? Zip, man. Try me later. Mm, okay, so I... I learned the brand of the car as well, uh, which is also pretty useful. Okay, let's go. Mainframe and shooting range. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Best scores. Uh, McCoy zero, so I haven't been to... Uh haven't been to the shooting range recently, I guess. And Deckard is is the actual uh, protagonist of the movie. Mm, he, he isn't very good, it seems. Old copies of case files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. Oh. Okay, so those are those are all of my clues, I guess. I guess I access this by clicking my character. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even, quite a pair. Hmm, and I can uh, listen again to to all of the clues, with the comments that the protagonist made. Hmm, that was pretty useful. Pretty useful indeed. Okay, I wanted to take a look at this. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Lucky Strikes, Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Hmm. What's an Esper room? 
Oh, I guess I'm going to learn that soon enough. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Mm, so I can transfer like the evidence that I found to the police station. P presumably, maybe they can, you know, other people working here might help me on the case. Mm, that's interesting. Scanning video disc. Two enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Run sitter crime scene. Hmm. Oh, so, so it's one of those uh, famous enhancer technologies that always exist in the movie uh, where they can uh, enhance an image perfectly just by, by zooming into it and it retains the quality. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's a cool gameplay mechanic. Maybe I can like learn what he was reading. Nope, I guess I can't. Okay, that doesn't tell me much. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for. Mm, I guess maybe I can notice something on Lucy's desk. Mm, yeah, there, there is some piece of paper. A sushi menu from Howie Lee's. Give me a hard copy of that. Hmm. Okay. What else is there that's important to take a look at? Okay, that's a snake. It doesn't tell me much, really. Uh, let's take a look at the other photo. Run setter crime scene. Well, this is much better because it shows me one of the perps. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Hmm. Maybe I can also zoom in on their car to learn like the license plate number. A black ground car. Looks like it's been around the block a few times. Give me a hard copy of that. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Local license plate. Give me a hard copy of that. A black ground car. Looks like it's been around the block a few times. 
Although, a kind of call bullshit on the fact, because, you know, I can buy a technology existing in the future that would, that would let you uh, almost infinitely enhance an image, you, you know, by, by constant close-ups and keeping the resolution. That is something that I can uh, sort of buy as a technology that exists in a science fiction story, but this image literally curves. It's, it's like impossible, because look, th this is the angle that the, uh, the camera was looking at, you know, straight at the door, and the car is parked a little bit on the right. It shouldn't be able to do this. Because it, it literally sort of goes in and then curves. A black ground car. Looks like it's been around the block a few times. Mm. But I guess that's... Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Mm, okay, I think that's it for this room. And I take it this would be the shooting range? Well, if it ain't Ray McCoy! Bryant finally let you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece? Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was gonna requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza could be one tough hombre. <laughs> I remember when we worked mice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip <laughs> and lit a match. Ah, I'll tell you, it looked like the goddamn 4th of July out there. <laughs> Peachy. What? What? Did he just admit? to burning two people alive just because they mouth off to them? Is everyone insane in this town? Uh, what? Because I guess it's a little bit inconclusive whether he actually lit them on fire. Maybe he just threatened them uh, with a match, which is still pretty deranged. Uh, but, but if he just threatened them, why would he say it looked like they got them 4th of July? Like, without actually lighting them on fire, they, there would be no uh, fireworks equivalent uh, in this situation. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. Hit the lock, Jack. I guess there ain't no harm in it. Target and shoot all threats. Do not shoot innocents. Confirm target as hostile before shooting. Hmm, interesting. And makes a total sense for a police shooting range. This, this one has a gun, this one has a gun. Uh, I've just been shot. Yeah, this, this is a, a woman with a child. So clearly I'm not, not supposed to shoot her. And that's a, that's a shooting exercise. That makes absolute sense for a police officer. I... Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. I actually rather like the fact that they... Uh, specifically include non-combatants and uh, you know 
teach you to distinguish between them and the actual enemies. As I said, it's entirely reasonable for a policeman. You're not supposed to shoot anything that moves. You're only supposed to shoot people who are an active threat to you. all sequences. Proceed to exit. Yeah, I doubt I did particularly great. Eh, to be honest, I'm, I'm third place. I, I wonder if there's any reward for beating the best score. But even if there is, I'm going to try that some other time. Main frame and shooting range. Ground floor. <laughs> Where even am I? Ah, okay, that's me. I can't talk with those people. What's even the point of this location?
think yeah, that's that's my boss's uh, office. Bryant, go on permanent leave, and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant. You know the procedure. Dump it all in the mainframe upstairs, and I'll read it later. You got it. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. We'll get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. Okay, not, not going to annoy him too much. He, he is my boss, at least for the time being. He is acting as my boss. Uh, I, I did drop the evidence in the mainframe, so he should be able to uh, read it. I wonder if we have any prisoners. We do. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. Oh, I can test him for being a replicant. I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Under duress. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I don't know them. Were they together? They seemed to be. I saw them talking. Before or after the explosion? Before. I didn't see them at all after. That's all I know, I swear. I wouldn't even know where to find explosives. I, I'm not a violent man. Of course you aren't. You just want to let replicants walk the streets. They're not killers, detective. They're innocents. They just want to live a decent, productive life like you or me. It's that simple, huh? I got some more questions for you. A lot of people involved in your cause? Spencer? Yes, sir, we're growing fast. As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, the citizens against replicant slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. We're peaceful people, detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad. So, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, Detective. Sure you are. We're not children, Detective. We have resources. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped... A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. Hmm. Do I want to test him for being a replicant? Like, I guess I would, if only to learn how that works in in gameplay terms. Uh. What do you know? Zero that would interest you, detective. What do you know? Zero that would interest you, detective. Okay, I don't think there's anything else of value in here. Uh, and by the way, I do entirely agree with this guy. Uh, replicants are basically people. If you can't, you know, if you can't distinguish them from regular people, that's a good enough reason to treat them as regular people. The fact that they are manufactured and not born is irrelevant to me. I'm gonna give you a little test. The other detective. She already tested me earlier today. Uh-huh. Look, I gotta check out the equipment, and you're the only stiff around. I object to this treatment. If you'll just call my lawyer, he'll take care... Your lawyer would tell you I got the authority to VK the mayor if I want. And he'd have to smile and nod and kiss my butt until I cleared him. So sit down. Mm. 
Human reaction gouge? Replicant reaction gouge. Uh, yeah, but what do we do with this? Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Third sector, uptown. Nice neighborhood? Very. Is this going to take long? Just keep your pants on, Spencer. Mm, ask a low intensity question, medium intensity question, high intensity question. Okay, but what, what does this gouge even tell me? It, this didn't even move in either direction. Your child comes home with a black eye. I'd call the school. Um, okay, he, he, he moved more on the human gouge. You're visiting the dentist. At the receptionist's desk is a huge bowl of fresh cut flowers. That's illegal, isn't it? I'd mention it to the secretary. Wait, it's illegal to have live flowers? I guess maybe it's illegal to cut them. Uh, you, you know, you have to grow them. If you manage to, you have to grow them in the earth rather than cut them for decoration, which is maybe reasonable if, you know, so many organic things are just dying out on earth. Whole animal species. And plant species probably as well. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. I love life too much to commit suicide. You wouldn't know about that, would you? You're going to die. It may be soon. Death. The grave. Rot. You're enjoying this. It may be soon. The readouts don't lie. You're scared. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. This conversation is over, Detective. I don't have to sit here and take abuse. Test terminated. Hmm. So I guess... If I go for too high, because it said terminated, it didn't even say inconclusive. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. Mm, okay, I can't VK him again. Uh, I guess if I go for too high of an intensity question, maybe at the start, it, it like breaks down the, 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 the test. I still don't really know how this works, so hopefully I'll get I'll get some more uh, opportunities to practice. Mm. But for now, this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save and end it for now. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.